Hey guys, Sivan here, and in this video, first we're gonna check out what Cedric McMillan looks like right now, and it seems like he is making progress. Yeah, he was doing some sort of TikTok challenge here, I don't know, I don't care about that. What I care about is his physique right now, and is he actually making some gains, is he making progress? And when I say gains, or when I say progress, I'm not just talking about Cedric getting shredded. The last time we saw him on stage... He was, well, let's say he was in fine conditioning, he wasn't super crisp, but he was alright. But the bigger problem was muscularity, right? You can especially see it in the legs. He lost a lot of size in those legs, and also like upper, upper body, maybe you can't really see it, but you can see that his waist looks bigger. And I don't think his waist got much bigger, I think he just lost size everywhere else. You can see it in his arms, in his chest, in his lats, in his shoulders, and his legs. Even at his best, even at his biggest, his legs were never really super big and full, but his physique had a nice flow, I mean, it worked for him, it worked for his physique, he had a sort of a streamlined physique, and small legs just went with the package quite well. So, when he loses size, first thing that goes is his legs. Because when you have a weak body part, you need to struggle really hard, especially when it comes to legs. You need to struggle really hard to be big and full in order to have your legs big and round. But when you lose size, that's the first thing you lose. The size, the fullness, the roundness of your legs. And that's exactly what happened with Cedric. But there is also another factor that usually downsizes bodybuilders' legs, and that is father time. Cedric is not a young man anymore, he's 44 actually. And legs are the first muscle to go with old age. I'm not saying he's old, of course. I mean, Sean Rodden won the Mr. Olympia when he was 43 or 44. So he can still do very well if, if he can bring the old size back. And based on this physique update, I would say that he is working on it. He is bound to compete at the Arnold Classic. So he still has only 8 weeks left. And that's 8 weeks to get in shape and to get as big as full as possible. And right now, in this video, it seems like his hardness and fullness are coming back, slowly but certainly. I don't know, we'll see what's gonna happen in 8 weeks. Is it gonna be the old Cedric as far as size? Is it gonna be new Cedric as far as conditioning? Is he gonna bring it this time around? Because he has probably the biggest potential at this show, if he brings his all-time best. But is that realistic? Well, if I had to make a bet, I would say no. Yes, he looks great in this video, it, he looks good, I mean, the lighting is really awesome, he's probably having a pump, he probably upped, you know, the food, the gear and everything, and he looks good, but still, based on his previous performance, I don't really see him coming back and looking as good as he once did, or looking his best ever. I hate to be a pessimist, but that's just honestly how I see it. If you guys disagree, comment below. Alright, next we have a, well, I don't know if this is a recent update, but I think it could be. We have a new upload from Blessing Awadibu, and in this one, he looks great. I mean, he has the fullness, he has the size, and uh, he has, he's in a good shape. Now, I don't know which show is he doing next, he didn't announce anything. But if this is him right now, he's gotta be competing sometime soon, maybe even Arnold Classic? Yeah, I know he wasn't on that list, but, you know, he might jump in, you know, maybe maybe he will do another show, but maybe, maybe somehow they will let him compete at the Arnold. Usually a couple of bodybuilders drop out before the Arnold Classic happens, and maybe he replaces them, I don't know. Now, is this recent? Who the hell knows, but right before the end of 2021, which was about, like, two weeks ago, this was him, this was a current update. Here, he looked big, but he looked decently lean. And, uh, I mean, you, you'll be my guest, you'll tell me, is this the level of uh, body fat percent that he's at right now, or is that change achievable in two weeks? I'm not sure, but uh, if I had to guess, I would say, yeah, it, it's possible. Look, I mean, he doesn't look fat, right? He's holding on to some water, but he's not fat. He could look like this, with like two, two weeks of dieting, you know, depleting carbs and losing the water in two weeks and some hardening agents and stuff like that. Sure, sure, I think this is possible. This could be him right now. And uh, if this is him, that means that he's going to be competing soon. Are there any other shows close to Arnold Classic? I'm not really sure right now, but 
I'm guessing, I think he should do the Arnold Classic. It feels like he made a lot of progress in the offseason, he grew. So now, bigger, and uh, if, he con if he gets conditioned in a, in a better way, he talked about losing a lot of muscle in the process last time he competed, if he does that more efficiently now when he has more experience, if he doesn't lose as much muscle, if he comes in full, big and shredded, if he peaks perfectly, then that can be a really dangerous package that can hurt a lot of bodybuilders' feelings. After the Mr. Olympia, Hunter Labrada sort of took a hiatus. I mean, he was fourth at Mr. Olympia, and you know, he was not, he was at the radar, he was one of the top guys, I mean, not even top five, like Nick Walker, he beat even Nick Walker, who is basically a star right now, the only three guys that he wasn't able to beat are Hari Chopin, Brandon Curry, and Big Ramy. so he really climbed up a couple of steps, a couple of stairs, so after the Mr. Olympia, we all kind of waited to see what is he looking like, what are his next plans, Okay, maybe we didn't really wonder that much about his future plans, knowing Hunter, knowing that he only did one show to qualify uh, last year and the Mr. Olympia, it would be pretty safe to assume that he's doing only Olympia since he is qualified. So what we were waiting on is to see how much did he actually progress in his uh, post-show rebound. But Hunter actually talked about not starting, he's not gonna start his off-season before the January 2022. And that is now, so he started working on his off-season, he started making improvements, and you know, he's kind of um, not really outspoken, you know, not as much as Nick Walker. Not a lot of people talk about Hunter and how much progress is he making, you know, year after year he's growing, show after show, and he places even higher than Nick. A lot of people are confused about that result, a lot of people think that he didn't deserve to be fourth, that he wasn't better than Nick. But it is what it is, he is fourth in the world, and now, with this physique update, you can see that he is starting to make some progress in those legs, and, uh, I mean, how much more can he grow, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, I think he talked about not really wanting to grow anymore, but to just refine his physique, because he is at that level now. So I'm really curious to see what he's gonna look like uh, at the Mr. Olympia, but that's not gonna happen in about a year, in December, guys, so we're gonna, ha we're gonna have to wait a long time to see what's gonna be the end result, but I'm sure in a couple of months you're gonna see some really impressive off-season photos of Hunter Labrada as this one right now, but this is only the beginning, in a couple of months you're gonna see something crazy, I'm sure. You guys remember Ryan Crowley? I'm sure you do, it's the guy that tore his pack doing that uh, incline bench press with Larry Wills, and after that, uh, after that pack tear he had a couple of surgeries, he wasn't really training very often, he was training his only, his, only one of his sides, and I think it was the right side, because that's the one he's showing here. So in this photo right here, he looks incredibly big. I mean, he's standing next to Milos Sharcho. And I know Milos in person, and he is not a small guy. He's also pretty big. But this guy seems to be a freaking giant, actually. Now, I don't know what his left side is looking like, but in this side chest shot, you cannot really see that he tore a pack. If you pay close attention to that left pectoralis, you can't really see anything, nothing weird is on there, it looks big and full as well, so it seems like he made a solid recovery. Is he ever gonna be a good bodybuilder on stage with that pack there? It was a pretty severe pack there, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, Kevin Levroni did it, but that was Kevin Levroni. We'll see if this guy can actually make something out of it, but it seems like he, he recovered nicely, he looks good right now, and I'm happy for him, great, great job, great recovery here. And finally, we have an update of Dexter Jackson, that's right. So Dexter, even though he's retired, he's like 52, 53 right now, I'm not sure, he looks good. Like, you can see uh, his uh, salt and pepper beard, it's mainly salt these days, you know, he's getting older, but his physique looks like he's a young man, he looks like he's in his 20s. I mean, you cannot really see much of his physique, uh, the shirt is covering most of it, and those, uh, whatever he's wearing on his elbows, these, those elbow sleeves, but you can see the shoulders, mainly, and those shoulders are looking cut, they are looking lean, and they're looking massive, I mean, Dexter is known for having really big and round delts, and he still has them in the offseason, you can also see the size of his arms and his forearms, I think from the last time we saw him, when he made an update, I think he looks better, he probably took some time off during the holidays, and now he's uh, again, you know, training hard, 
probably on TRT or something, you know, not pushing the food as much as he used to, but still probably eating healthy. I don't, I don't think I can imagine uh, Daxter, you know, quitting bodybuilding. Yeah, sure, he quit competing, but I think just like Ronnie Coleman, Daxter has bodybuilding in his blood. And also, you know, considering that he has pretty much no serious injuries, nothing like Ronnie, which is the reason why he had a long career, you know, switching from free weights to machines, being very careful, very smart. Now he has no injuries and he can still train and make progress and look great in his retirement. So, again, I don't see Dexter just giving up on it and, you know, not worrying about what he eats or how he trains. I think he's still pretty focused, as he says on his t-shirt, focus on your own game. Whichever his game is right now, is it just maintaining a good shape without any plans of competing or something else? I don't know, but I think that's what he's accomplishing, because he does look pretty good here. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to this channel guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best, and bye bye.